Hello everyone, welcome back to your YouTube channel and welcome to this amazing video today. Uh, as you must be aware, some of my master students, they are creating a test network from scratch. And one of the typical issues when you are creating a test model from scratch is that you make a mistake uh, when you uh, put the data inside the software. And in those cases, depending on the grown data, you will not get convergency when run a lot flow. Well, this very short video, hopefully less than five minutes, it will show you uh, the cause of the or the reason of this problem for not convergency in load flow calculations and one simple way to detect if your problem is related with data or not. Let's start this very practical video, okay? As you can see here, um, I am presenting the classical PM Anderson 9 bus system, okay? First step, I will run a classical load flow. To be honest, I will run the classical AC load, a uh, lot flow for a positive sequence, okay? Now, as you can see in this screen, you have the full details of the proper load flow. And if you look the output window, you can see over here, yes, uh, power flow is uh, solving the power balance equation for this network and using the newton rapton algorithms, okay? After four iterations, three iterations, you can see over here that the load flow is properly done. Beautiful. But now I will show you one of the typical mistakes from rookie students, okay? If you look over here, I will take as a sample boost bar number six. And in boost bar, in boost bar number six, I will include a load, okay? Yes, I am creating my network and suddenly I need to create this load here, okay? What I will do now, what I will do now is double click and in this load flow section here from the element load, I will make a very bad mistake. What will be the very bad mistake? Instead of one MVR, I will put over here 100 MVR, okay? What I'm telling you is that right now I make a mistake and right now I am installing a huge reactive power consumption in boost bar number, number six, okay? Now, if you try to run the classical load flow, the AC load flow using positive sequence and the newton rato uh, algorithms, what will happen is, let's do it, oh, 100 megawatts and it's running, it's MVR and it's running. Let me increase to 1000. Haha. Now we have a low here, 1000 MVR. And now let me run the load flow. Ba -bam. Now we have an error. And if we go to the output window, you can see over here that Power Factory is telling you, okay, we are running the load flow, Newton Rapson algorithms, eight iterations, Power Factory try to help you and reduce the damping factor three more iterations, and then Power Factory say, I'm sorry, no convergency in this load flow, okay? What I'm trying to tell you is that in many cases, if you use the grown data for the reactive power, you will have this kind of problem of load flow convergency. What is the best way to identify if your, if your system is having problems related with reactive power? Well, very simple. I open here the common load flow, and now I am using the DC load flow, okay? Please don't be confused. This is the linearized way of the power balance equations. And if you run the load flow, pa -bam, you can see over here, we have convergency. And if you look over here, well, you can see that power factory is, is executing the load flow and you get the proper solution, okay? Now, in this linearized, in this linearized situation, what you are obtaining is basically how the active power is moving inside the circuit, inside the system. And using this uh, power flow, this active power flow, 
and also those angles over here at the boost bar, you can identify if you are making a problem, if you are making a situation, a bad situation regarding reactive power. Okay? Well, this is all for this video. I hope you enjoy. See you very soon. Bye now.